Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTJim007, and today we're looking at the Trade System plugin. Now, this is a really fantastic plugin which not only allows you to trade with people on your server, but it allows you to customize the trade GUI. You can make it whatever you want, how it looks, and how big it is. So, we're going to go through a sample trade just to show you how it works, and then we're going to design one ourselves. So there's a couple of commands we'll be using, the forward slash trade command which allows us to trade with other people accept and deny trades and the forward slash trade system command which allows us to change and create a new GUI. So first of all if we try and send our other account a trade it will not work. So the reason for this is because we're in game mode 1 uh, and obviously this is a great feature because you don't want people in creative trading with people in survival. And there is also a small issue with the tab complete command. Uh, you don't need to worry about it and I think the developer has fixed it in the latest version. Now this is what my GUI looks like. As you can see it looks pretty rubbish, uh, loads of random items. I just created this without thinking of any artistic style, uh, but obviously you could put more time into this and make it look pleasant rather than terrible. So as you can see, there are lots of different buttons and notifications, so it tells you uh, a variety of things, whether you're ready, whether the other person's ready, whether you've put money or items in, and at the bottom you also have a cancel button. So if I get my other account to put something in as well and ready up, we will see that the items will change and it will show that both players are ready and then the trade will complete. So there we go, we have switched items, it's as simple as that and it's even better if you have a nice GUI. So that's what we're going to look at now. What we need to do is grab eight or nine items, that's minimum. So these eight or nine items will be used for the different buttons and status symbols. So if we go ahead and do forward slash trade system layout delete and then layout two, what this is going to do is delete the rubbish layout that I made earlier and then we can go ahead and create one of our own trade system layout and then create. This is going to open the GUI and as you can see this looks much nicer. Up at the top there are the four items that you need to complete in order to do this. Uh, so first of all we are going to change the name. So let's click the second button. It will open up an Anvil GUI and you can change the name to anything and once you're done click the piece of paper. Up at the top it will turn green once you've done the checklist item and let's go ahead and do the next item which is on the left. So in here, this is how you arrange your GUI. You can make it look really pretty um, using different colors and items. I'm just going to do something random and try and make it look better than last time uh, because that was quite appalling. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop a piece of TNT at the bottom for the cancel button. Then we are going to pop two diamonds up at the top. So diamond there and a diamond or up here, this is going to be for the money or coins items. And once we've done that, we can change the middle items uh, to the status symbols. So by default, we are going to have them as glass. And obviously when they change, we are going to want them to be red and green, but we'll do that in a second. So now that we've done that, it will show us green and we can set what they actually do. So there's uh, seven things we need to set in here. And let's go ahead and start with our own money. This is going to be on the left, the diamond. Then we need to set the money icon for, for our partner, that's going to be on the right, and then our own status symbol, which is going to be the left piece of glass, the other person's, which is going to be the glass on the right, there we go, and the cancel icon, which is obviously the TNT. Then we need to set our own trade slots, so all of the spare spaces are going to be the trade slots for us, and the same for our partner, and they've got to be the same, so make sure you, um, you do that, it's symmetrical, and then it will look pretty good. So now that we've done that, None of them are enchanted anymore. We can go back and you can see that checklist item three is set. Then we can go here and set the colors for when you are not ready and ready. So obviously go for red and green so it's simple. Then over to the right we can set uh, a couple of things. So if you don't have an economy item and the other item showing when the other person is ready. So a lighter green, so a glass block. And there we go, so let's go ahead and go back. Once we've done that, we can click save and it has been saved successfully. Then let's go ahead and do forward slash trade system layout and then activate and then obviously the name. So this will make sure you are going to be able to use it. And there we go, easy as that. So what I'm gonna do now is get my other account back on and hopefully it looks really awesome. So here we are, we're going to accept the trade via clicking the chat and there we go, there is our awesome GY. As you can see, 
when I put this piece of wood in, it will change from glass to red, uh, which looks very nice. And obviously we can uh, change the money up at the top and you can see that our other account hasn't put anything in. Then if we hop into my other account, you can see that if we accept, it goes green and then we will be ready to accept ourselves. So once we do that, the tray will be complete and we will get the wooden planks. So that is how you set it up in game. Obviously, uh, you can set it up however you want. It's really, really easy. Once you know how, you can just play around with it, make multiple layouts. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. So down at the bottom is layouts, that's currently empty. But if we go into language.yml, this is the middle file, and in here, it has all of the things that you'll see in chat. It has the prefix and the language. Obviously, there are two current languages. There is English at the top, and then German. So if you would like to switch to German, all you need to do is type GER up at the top here and that will change your language that you use. You could change this, but I think it looks pretty nice how it is, so you don't really need to. Then we can go back and go into the config.yml. There's a few things in here we can change. So in here, there's the trade system. So a request will be deleted after 60 seconds. Do you want people to be able to trade with money? Yes or no? And trade both. So if people have a full inventory, do you want people to be able to put more items in or will the items be dropped on the ground for other people to possibly steal? Then, do you want to have a trade distance enabled? So you have to be within 50 blocks, for example, so you can't be across the other side of the world. You've got to be in spawn. Do you want people to have their trade cancelled if they get damaged? And do you want a right click to request a trade with someone? That's pretty helpful as well. So typing out the commands and allow game mode. So survival is the only one, which is a pretty good idea because you don't want people in game mode one trading with people. Down at the bottom, you have blacklist. So you can have um, items like maybe bedrock and lava. You don't want people trading. Um, but yeah, that is everything in the config file. It's a really fantastic plugin. You can download it from the Spigot website. I will leave a link in the description as always. If you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.